My name is Dan Young and this is my immigrant story. Well, growing up in Vietnam, my dad had worked for a Vietnam electricity company, EVN, which is the only company that provides um, electricity related services to the country. Because EVN is so large and they have such high demand for more workers, the company established its own university, um, which is the Electric Power University, EPU, to train students with skills they could bring to their future careers related to electricity. The realistic path for me after graduating high school in 2010 was to attend EPU, um, graduate after four years and become employed for EVN because my dad had worked there for so long so that EVN would have given me a preferred admission into EPU um, as well as a lot of financial aid and greater chance at um, um, being hired into their business. For financial reasons and because this was a relatively easy round for me, so my parents wanted me to go in this direction, but I hated the, the education system in Vietnam. I hated how my high school was run and my friends in college told me that I would not have the right to choose who I want to study in college. And also, I know that if my family and I stayed in Vietnam, I would have for sure given, given up my passion for piano during college. On the other hand, um, the media and my family in America told me that my future would be bright in the U.S. So um, when I was told that I had the chance to go to the state, my first thought was like, oh, I'm going to Berkeley College of Music in Boston. Um, that was my first thought, like, okay, my dream is coming true because I dreamed of a better future where I could have some say in what my career would be. And because I wanted the same opportunity for my sister, I convinced my parents that we needed to leave Vietnam. A few months after I turned 18, my family and I moved to Boston for a little while um, before settling in La Crosse, Wisconsin. My aunt who sponsored us decided that it would be best for me to learn the English language and the American culture by repeating high school. It was frustrating at the time because as a high school student who was four years older than my classmates, I didn't like how immature everyone was and it was hard for me to communicate because um, everyone around me could only speak English and I didn't, I, I didn't speak any English. It was also frustrating at home because my grandpa didn't understand why I had to repeat all four years of high school in America because I was such a good student back in Vietnam so he would question, he would question why it was taking me so long to graduate. Thankfully, towards the end of high school, I gained some confidence in my English and so school became more enjoyable and finally I was able to graduate with the class of 2014. Now, I'm studying Mathematical Biology at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities with the hope to become an orthodontist. As a young girl in Vietnam, I never would have um, thought that this would be my career choice because I was never given a choice when it came to careers. Um, but I had the determination to chase my dreams of a better future. Step by step, I'm on my way to achieving my goal now.